Hello everyone, this is Miguel Parada here, bringing you another Pro Tools tutorial video here. Now today we're going to install Pro Tools 2020. Now the first thing we do right is type in Pro Tools and then we'll get redirected towards the main site here. Pro Tools download. Uh, let's click on the first one from vid.com and then from there just you know just surrender your cookies you know the, the amounts we'll need for advertising and then you scroll down and you have three options here you have Pro Tools first Pro Tools and Pro Tools ultimate now uh, I just want to show you how, about the free trial here not everyone has the uh, funds to afford the, the, the free one so just simply go down create account type in your credentials hit submit and then go from there and then after that this will take quite a while to load here but yeah just bear with the load time and they'll send you an email now they'll send you an email first and then after that you'll uh, have to go uh, this is the first step of three so just get on just click on that box right there it'll auto populate your passwords and then after that um, however that password might be a different password for a different account I found that out as soon as I hit create uh, I'd like to show all the uh, nuances I actually faced with this. So I hit create. Uh, it takes about a second or two here. I get a red bar. Retype the correct password there. Hit create. Now this one right here might take a while just for it to send all those download links. So I was a bit impatient here and uh, went on over to uh, the uh, email. After that, the next step, it will tell you just enter this few fields here. Uh, this uh, about how you intend to use the software. I, I populated that with enthusiasts and you can also select if you're a student or not students actually get a discount from the software I remember paying about what was it three hundred dollars for the software four years back alright but this is a free trial so it should be no problem so go over to your email account and you'll see you have a you'll get the iLock one now now my knowledge of this is a bit outdated here uh, originally back in 2016 I um, I got the um, I got the link. Uh, I had to download the two separate components, but now it seems that they they bundled it. So here, right, you go back to your email, and then just select wh whether you're downloading it for Windows or Mac. I got a Windows PC. Save the file, and uh, just go ahead and put it in your downloads folder right there. But yes, originally I had this. Um, this was all bundled up right here. All right and uh, once that is complete you'll see you guys will see the progress on that now that's an enormous file right there uh, that file um, it's about let's just say right there 2.1 gigabytes uh, so that's gonna take a while you can either uh, you can sit around for that you can, if you notice at the bottom right you can see my desktop uh, clock that's at a it's a um, you can see the time right there and this is not in real time by the way this is uh, post recording post audio and uh, yeah that takes quite a while but I don't make the um, I don't make you sit through all this we do some other stuff now after that you can go on over to your um, iLock here this is actually an optional step here but if you want to you can actually go to the iLock uh, website visit iLock.com um, and go and download their uh, their software uh, but um, once again, you know that iLock uh, manager that comes bundled with the free trial. Once so that lets you know my knowledge is a bit outdated. But this is how I do how I had to do it originally. So hit let's get started. And then the nice thing about this, like your Vid account, Avid account will all be integrated. Just sign in right there with the same password you used to sign up for the field trial. Enter all those fields. You know, hit the security questions. Accept the terms and agreements. And then from here, you got now you have your iLock account registered. So um, that's the only thing you you don't have to uh, you just register for your iLock account, but you don't have to download the actual iLock manager because that manager once again becomes bundled with Pro Tools. So, but um, one other thing about this interface here, it's not very intuitive um, because if a user sees this, they think where do I download the actual uh, iLock manager? So I looked around and then it turns out it was that right box right there. So you just click on that box right there and you download, that actually leads to the download to the iLock manager. And uh, you can choose your version right here. This is the option right here once again. I, was, I don't know how many times I can stretch this. 
you don't have to down you do not have to download this this comes bundled with the free trial i did not know that during the time of recording so i just downloaded it all right so you save it right there but the nice thing about this file right here uh this one uh it's a very a small file so you don't have to worry about it now you can see that the pro tools has been already uh, fully downloaded we'll have to right click it and then select extract all and then uh, you can extract all hit extract again and then that will be inside the folder that you um you made right here don't worry about not responding it'll, it'll just takes a while now this is another uh, enormous weight right here uh, the downloading is bad now you get to prepare yourself with the extraction uh, so this is not in real time once again I fast forwarded some of this footage so I don't have to like sit around through it so boom 99% that took about 20 minutes and um, you can uh, now you go to the actual uh, pro you can just see what you downloaded here so you still have the zip file there and in the bottom one right there that's the one that was extracted you click on the bottom one in order to uh, run Pro Tools but before we do that we we want to extract the uh, iLock one if you downloaded it once again you don't have to download that <laughs> I didn't know until after I finished setting up Pro Tools so the nice thing about that is very short alright once those are complete um, go ahead and just uh, go right there and go to the, uh, the bottom one for Pro Tools the one you just extracted and then from there you uh, go to setup select setup hit ok and then now this comes a bit uh, a bit interesting here um, this setup actually got hang hung up so I had to restart it you'll see in the video as well but while that's setting up we can also if you do not have an audio interface like I do you might need the a, uh, ACO, I'll probably butcher that, ACO for all. Type that in your Google, ACO for all download, and it'll be the first result. You click on that, and then you'll get, um, get the language that uh, you speak. Uh, I just wanted to check right here the status of that, and it was still uh, processing. But yeah, so while that's going, you can just get uh, any version that you like. I chose the English version, 2.13. Hit save put down your downloads uh, or, or anywhere you like uh, yeah run the program go next go to the wizard hit next with all that the other ones are uh, other settings are optional right there hit finish and now you have that officially running on your uh, computer now you have ASO for all uh, now a mental note that's not uh, Pro Tools does not automatically configure that you'll have to configure that when Pro Tools boots up I'll show that in the video as well now here I realized that the program didn't work so I just went to task manager by hitting control shift escaped and then ending it through the task manager so that this is if your program gets hung up like mine's uh, so I had to relaunch the program again in order for it to work. For some reason it paused and now I'm, I have to re, uh, relaunch the program again through the setup on Pro Tools. Hopefully your program doesn't go through this step, but uh, mine did, unfortunately. So now I hit install everything and now we have to repeat the process. But I just wanted to show you like um, the, the process right there. Now here, right, um, the the mat the setup wizard reminds me that I need to install QuickTime. This is optional. QuickTime is optional, of course, if you have your own dedicated interface. Go ahead and install QuickTime download in your Google, and then it's the first one right there. You can read uh, what QuickTime is uh, right there if you like. But in order to download it, you just click that download the blue download button right there. You'll want to install this after. Pro Tools is finished installing. So for now, just download that. Right here, I'm looking at the downloads again, and it, and it looks like it got hung up again. A one mental note here, some of this right here will be like a full green bar for like five to 10 minutes. So that don't, don't let that deceive you. If it's like for that, 
um, but once it's complete uh, hit yes to reboot it'll restart your computer and then right there um, it'll, you'll um, you'll you'll see that Pro Tools has icon right there as well as an iLock that's why I say it's optional to download iLock because it already comes bundled with the actual Pro Tools installation now this is this is the user experience here. This is what happened when I try to run Pro Tools. So you can see what happens if you just try to just jump right into it without a proper setup. So a whole bunch of windows pop up, no problem. Uh, this is all boot time stuff right here. Um, that task manager that popped up is because um, my computer is still booting up. And then you'll see my, um, allow give it access to to the firewall. So say say allow access when the first time you boot it up. And then you'll see that, uh, okay, that you don't have to worry about the browser right there. Once again, because my computer's still booting up. All right, but um, you get to see that this right here um, will, uh, actually, you, you, I'll let the video speak for itself. Don't worry about the task manager. So here you go. So you hit activate. Uh, just log in using your user account and ID that you created for the Avid account. Uh, you can read about this. This is new to me as well. I didn't know about the iLock cl cl cloud session. That's very uh, quite interesting. I'm so used to using Pro Tools 12.6 um, that I'm not I'm not caught up with 2020 Pro Tools 2020. So just hit OK if you like. Uh, you can hit Next as well, or you can also check that box right there. It says Don't show this again. But I read this in detail because so, this was new technology to me. After that, you can just see the your trial license right there. So um, right there, you see trials. Hit next. Now this is important here. You'll need an iLock. This is how an, what an iLock looks like. Um, you have to buy that online. You just plug that right in, and then uh, a blue light comes on when you know it's plugged in. But you can just see on the bottom right right there that the iLock is plugged in, but it's not registering uh, in the licenses. So what you have to do is click on your iLock ma um, license manager double click on that this will pop up and then uh, check for automatic updates so say uh, check automatically for updates and then install all of those updates right there you feel free to read that if you like but install all of those updates um, I skipped some of that so that way you don't have to wait sit through all those updates um, but yeah this is you have to go to the iLock manager first in order before you go on Pro Tools Otherwise, Pro Tools will not uh, recognize your iLock. Hit next, hit yes, and then scroll down, of course, to see the terms of condition. Hit yes, install, and you get to see. Let's see. So once again, um, this is uh, uh, going through all the. Um, uh, this is actually in real time right here because this is a quick process but one thing I wanted to mention here was that um, once you've uh, after you st install this iLock uh, you'll see um, that it'll disappear temporarily and then it'll come back on your desktop again or wherever you have the uh, iLock thing saved um, you can see it appear right here maybe in a couple of seconds here And there it is, reappears. So now, if you click on Pro Tools, you'll actually see your iLock pop up. Now, the nice thing about this is that um, Pro Tools, if you if you do not have an iLock right, we hit activate, hit next. Pro Tools will give you an option to buy an iLock. From you see that blue bo blue at the bottom right there, that below that. That's if you do not have iLock, but I do, since so I already connected it, hit finish, hit continue. You see this dialog pop up, um, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just hit OK. Then just relaunch Pro Tools again. And now this is, now this is, uh, this scenario, I experienced this scenario because I, I'm using this through a remote desktop connection, not an actual PC. Now, uh, your results may vary, but if you have a remote desktop connection, uh, 
which I highly doubt you're doing just in order to get Pro Tools installed, um, you'll get this dialog box when you attempt to run Pro Tools for the first time. I'll let the, uh, the dialog speak for itself here. You'll get could not complete your request because ass assertion and uh, D colon all this uh, could not, uh, it's line 994 code, right? So it's just uh, pretty much saying that uh, I can't get access to your audio. Well, <laughs> it's, so I went over to my actual main computer right here. This is why the screen got smaller. This is my main computer. Now I run Pro Tools again, right? Now, when you first run Pro Tools, right, hold N right here during this part right here. Hold N and then just, just hold it and then keep holding it. And then you have this this uh, let, uh, screen pop up. Uh, you'll see that um, I still can't use uh, ASOL version 2, but that's okay. But you hold in in order to use your audio interface if you have one. Um, but I'll, I'll just use my regular, you know, <laughs> my regular uh, device driver here. So I, I imported a project here, and that way you can see that the Pro Tools is actually working. I'll do some edits here. and um, no, Now, because I'm not using ASOL playback engine, I'm using the actual... Um, uh, I'll have to render this in order to actually have the sound come through my uh, speakers here. So I just click on this button right there to render it and then it'll say, oh look, stuff is rendering right there. This is if you do not have access to the ASOL uh, playback engine. But if you do, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so you um, you see that the, the sound bar is moving. Now you're you're not hearing sound right now because uh, once as I explained in one of my, the previous video, uh, my very first one, Pro Tools takes audio priority over um, everything. So uh, OBS could not record what's playing, but I assure you that I could hear sound, and I could hear the song, and um, you'll see that um, the the odd we get sound levels there. I could change ticks. This is a fully uh, functional uh, version of Pro Tools there. I'll also demonstrate in this video that you can actually um, make some edits as well, such as like fade ins, breaks, um, fa sorry, fade outs and breaks, and um, one other thing here. But before I do that, I want to uh, show. So you can just switch back and forth between rendering and unrendering. So uh, just to show you that, it's, um, I just wanted to experiment with it because I actually never used uh, this uh, form of uh, this this uh, version of Pro Tools. So you go to setup play once again. This is just a native. Uh, oh, this is what happens when you try to do V2. You get the same error I had on remote desktop, uh, ASOL. So um, that's if you don't get the error, great. But if you do, you'll have to do it. Huh, the, that playback engine right there. If not, if you're fortunate enough, you probably have an audio interface. So you could probably uh, set up your own audio interface right there. But you don't have to worry about that. But um, this is what happens when you try to set V2 if you don't have um, it. So you get a Pro Tools error. Um, but yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So um, I just wanted to, right here, I'm just showing you that I'm, I'm, it's capable. Uh, it is possible to edit this uh, file with just the regular um, default playback engine that I have. Here, let me, first I have to render it right here in order just to make the audio uh, playable. And then right here, I, I, you'll see me experiment uh, with the audio here. So I first, the first thing I'll do here is just, um, uh, I can drag it if I like, but this is what I'll do. It's, let me see. I'll cut, cut everything to the right using the S key. Or I can, let's see, I could make a break right there using the B key. I can delete the audio uh, right there. I can also drag it right there, um, change this into grid mode. Um, one other thing right there, I actually put this in the, uh, I could actually hear this, it's quite nice. I actually put this in keyboard focus mode uh, so I can just use shortcut keys without actually having to do, go to the edit right here. And then I, I'll do a break right here. And let me see what else I did. I think I did one fade, oh, yeah, I did a fade out right here. Yep, I'm getting full functionality, and I'm actually listening to the audio. 
But that's all. I just wanted to show you that this is fully functional. Thank you for watching.